Well, some in Congress are calling for an investigation into the huge government contract a tiny company in Montana landed in Puerto Rico. Whitefish Energy, population two, is based in Whitefish, Montana, population 7,200. That also happens to be the hometown of President Trump's interior secretary, Ryan Zinke. David Begno, who for weeks covered the hurricane damage in Puerto Rico, is now on a white fishing expedition in Montana. David. We found the headquarters in a remote, affluent area nestled in the mountains of northwestern Montana. It's not overstating it to say it's in the middle of nowhere. The headquarters turns out to be a two-bedroom, two-bath house that's owned by the CEO of Whitefish Energy. According to real estate records online, the house was up for sale, but it was taken off the market two days after Hurricane Maria made landfall in Puerto Rico. We found the headquarters in rural Montana, but it appears to be a private residence. Who are you looking for? Um, Andy Tekmensky. I know the mail in front of the house says his name. It says Whitefish Energy Holdings here. It says Whitefish Energy Holdings. Okay, thank you, sir. Whitefish Energy secured a $300 million contract with PREPA. That's the Puerto Rico Power Authority. Now, the CEO of Whitefish is a man named Andy Tekmansky. Hi, I'm Andy Tekmansky. His company's been around for two years, and at the time the hurricane made landfall in Puerto Rico, Whitefish only had about two employees. They've since hired about 300 people to do work for them in Puerto Rico. Notable is that the U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Ryan Zinke, is from Whitefish, Montana. In fact, he and the CEO of Whitefish Energy know each other. That's according to the Associated Press, which reports the secretary's son at one time had a summer work job with Whitefish Energy. Now, the secretary is insisting he had absolutely nothing to do with a $300 million contract being awarded to a small company in his hometown. Rena? Thank you so much, David.